Welcome back YouTube, we have Ahmed again from In-Depth Tech Reviews and in today's video I'm gonna put Google Assistant, Siri and Bixby neck to neck. This is my first time to compare all three in one video and I'm so excited to show you how things improved in 2021. I have the Pixel 5 for Google Assistant, the 12 Pro Max for Siri and the S21 Ultra for Bixby. So let's see how each assistant will perform but before getting started let's make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. So let's jump in. First things first, all phones are on the latest software available at the time of filming this video. Google Assistant speech output is set to full and I will trigger all of them using the magic word to get the most interactive response. But don't worry, I will mute all the magic words to avoid triggering your assistant. I will say the command once and the responses will be played in sequence. So let's start with the comparison. Convert 179 centimeters to inches. 179 centimeters is equivalent to 70.472 inches. 179 centimeters is 70.47 inches. That comes to about 70.472449 inches. Convert $300 to AED. $300 equals 1,101 United Arab Emirates dirhams and 96 fils. $300 is 1,101 UA dirhams and 84 fulis. I'll need a formula to calculate. In this command, Bixby asked for a formula to calculate. I thought this happened because it says at the top, you are now talking to calculator. So I went back to the home screen and tried again. Convert $300 to AED. Please say a formula. But it's still failing. Send a voice message to my other number on WhatsApp. All right, what do you want to say? Hi, how are you today? Sending. WhatsApp can't send audio messages at this time. What would you like the message for my other number to say? Hi, how are you today? Text this to my other number. Hi, how are you today? In this command, Bixby ignored that I want to send the message via WhatsApp. As it says at the top, you are now talking to messages. Even though when I continued with the command, it asked if I want to send a normal text instead of a voice message. How many COVID-19 cases in United Arab Emirates? Here are some details. The same command will act differently when the phone is locked. So let me show you this. How many COVID-19 cases in United Arab Emirates? According to Wikipedia, as of the 15th of February, 351,895 total confirmed cases of coronavirus disease have been reported in the United Arab Emirates. Currently, there are 351,895 confirmed COVID-19 cases in the United Arab Emirates, according to WHO and other sources. Okay, here's what I found online. In this command, Bixby got the correct information, but it didn't read the actual number of cases. I tried it with the phone locked like I did with Google Assistant, but that didn't make any difference. Yes, it lags behind in how it represents the data, but I will give it the point for providing the correct information. Send my current location to my other number on WhatsApp. I have your location as Remrom, Dubai, United Arab Emirates. Sending. I'm afraid I can't do that for you. Send my live location to my other number on WhatsApp. I'm sorry, I can't do that for you. Which contact are you searching for? My other number. No other phone number for other number. Navigate to work. Got it. Work. Let's go. Getting directions to work. Head northeast. Navigate to the nearest gas station. Okay, ADNOC fuel station. Let's go. The nearest one I see is Emirates station. Does that one sound good? Yes. 
Getting directions to Emirates Station. How far is it from Dubai to Abu Dhabi? If you drive, Abu Dhabi is 146 kilometers away from Dubai local movers. Abu Dhabi is about 92 miles from Dubai by car. Which one of these two destinations? The second one. In this command, Bixby asked for the destination again and it didn't read back the results as expected, but the information provided was correct. Turn on my office lights. Got it. Turning three lights on. Okay. Done. I'm turning on all two lights in your office. Turn off my office lights after 30 minutes. Okay, I'll turn off wall lamp, the desk lamp, and the ladder lamps at 4.45 a.m. Sorry, I can't schedule commands. At upcoming 6.32 a.m., I'll power status off all two lights. Play my rap playlist. All right, your YouTube music playlist called rap. Here you go. Here's your Spotify playlist, rap. Here all of them played the correct playlist, but from different services. Google Assistant and Siri support YouTube Music, Spotify, and Apple Music. Bixby supports Spotify only, and if you are using any other app, it will provide you with basic functionality like play, pause, or skip tracks, but nothing else. So I'm gonna give an extra point to Google Assistant and Siri for the better compatibility. Show me photos with dogs. While I do have photos with dogs but Bixby didn't show them and it searched for the word image for some reason but when I searched manually I was able to locate them just fine. Start a voice recording. Record a voice memo. Start a voice recording. Tweet happy birthday to my dearest friend. Opening Twitter. Okay, I found this on the web for tweet happy birthday to my dearest friend. Check it out. Actually, that function can't be supported yet. I'm always improving to provide you a better experience for next time. Play music to sleep. Okay, check out this sleep music station on YouTube Music. Meditation now playing. Playing the Spotify playlist, sleep. Play music to relax. Sure, check out this relax music station on YouTube Music. Now playing chill music. Here's yoga chill music by Relax Chill Out Lounge on Spotify. What's the name of this song? This sounds like Hello. Genius, featuring Sia Diplo and Labyrinth by Alesti. In this command, all of them are equal and deserve the point. But Google Assistant has the edge because it can identify songs by humming, singing, or whistling in addition to the normal way. This feature is called the hum to search in case you are not familiar with it. I created two videos about it and how to get it on your iOS or Android devices. So if you want to know how, click the links showing now on the screen or in the description below. And here's a quick sample. What's the name of this song? <laughs> Sounds like one of these. So I will give Google Assistant an extra point here. Remember that my staff ID is 1234. Okay, I'll remember that. What's my staff ID? Here's what you told me. Okay, add it to reminders. What's my staff ID? It doesn't look like you have an app named staff ID. If you'd like, I can help you look for it on the app store. My staff ID is 1234 reminder save. What's my staff ID? Which contact are you searching for? 
Remember that my parking location is B7 level 2. Okay, I'll remember you parked B7 level 2. I'll also save a map of your current location. Where did I park my car? You told me you parked B7 level 2. You were near here at the time. Okay, I'll remember that you parked here B7 level 2. Where did I park my car? Here's your car B7 level 2. B7 level 2 reminder save. Where did I park my car? B7 level 2. Add milk, bread, and the cheese to my shopping list. Okay, I added those two things. Show me my shopping list. You have five things on that list. I didn't find a shopping list. Do you want to create one? Yes. Okay, I added those three things. Show me my shopping list. There are three reminders on your shopping list. Bread, milk. Cheese. There aren't any shopping list capsules available. Remind me to buy milk when I'm at the supermarket. You've got a few options. The first is Gen Express Remram at Unnamed Road. Do you mean this place? Yes. All right. I'll remind you when you get to Gen Express Remram at Unnamed Road. All right. I've added it to your reminders warning sign. List. As you see, Siri didn't ask for the location, and the location toggle of the reminder is not turned on, which is not what I asked for. That location isn't saved in your account. I saved your buy milk reminder without it. Read my notifications. You've got new messages from my other number in Ahmad Ahmed. The first one is from my other number on WhatsApp. Hi, how are you? Do you want to reply? No. Next, from Ahmad Ahmed on Messenger. Hi, want to reply? No. That was the last one. But Google Assistant is not able to read any other notifications. I have two emails here from Twitter and I also have one notification from YouTube Studio and it couldn't read these notifications. So let me try that as well. Read my Gmail notifications. According to G Suite tips, here's how to request. Read my YouTube studio notifications. There aren't any new messages. You have notifications from reminders, messages, Gmail messenger and Facebook. First from reminders. Would you like to hear your messages notifications? Read my messenger notifications. One notification from messenger. Emma Ahmed, hi. Read uh -huh. my Facebook notifications. Eight notifications from Facebook. You have 13 notifications. You have one Bixby voice notification. You have one SmartThings notification. Read my YT Studio notifications. I found one YT Studio notification. Rob P. Rob P. commented. Read this article. All right. From in-depth tech reviews, Google Pixel February 2021 secure. Google Assistant can also read the articles in 42 different languages by translating and reading them on the fly, which is very useful. So here I'm going to choose Arabic as an example. Speak screen. Open navigation dialogue. Channel logo for PNG, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, post all posts, all posts, author's picture, Emad Hussein, admin February 2nd, one minute. More actions, Google Pixel February 2021 security update. Speak screen is a similar feature on iOS, but it's an accessibility feature, so it's not optimized for reading articles. In my quick sample, it read the names of the navigation menus, the photos, and the icons, which is irrelevant to what I'm asking for. Plus, it doesn't support real-time translation like in Google Assistant, 
but it's better than nothing. So I will give a point to Siri as it's better than Bixby that doesn't have a similar feature. But in this case, Google Assistant should also get an extra point to give it the edge over Siri. Now let's see how good each assistant in understanding the context by asking follow-up questions based on what's on the screen. What's new on Netflix? The first two are to all the boys, always and forever in the last Paradiso. I have 47 answers in total. What about Amazon Prime? Here's a summary from Vulture. Billions, seasons one to three, The White Princess, season one. And what's new Scooby-Doo? Okay, I found this on the web for what's new on Netflix. Check it out. What about Amazon Prime? Okay, I found this on the web for what about Amazon Prime. Check it out. What's new on Amazon Prime? You can get more information at samsung.com. Show me the top rated Egyptian restaurants. I found a few Egyptian restaurants near you. The first one. Here it is, Hadouda Misraya restaurant and cafe. What about the working hours? Hadouda Misraya restaurant and cafe at Sheikh Zayed Road is open today from 9 a.m. to midnight but you might want to check with them. Navigate. Got it. Haduda Masria. Let's go. The best rated one I found is Haduda Masria on 22A Street, which averages 4.5 stars. Is that the one you're looking for? Yes. Perfect. I can call that location or get directions. Which would you like? What about the working hours? The highest rated option I found is Haduda Masria on 22A Street, which averages 4.5 stars. Is that the one you want? Yes. Haduda Masria on 22A Street is open today from 9 a.m. to 12 a.m. Navigate. Getting directions to Haduda Masria. I couldn't find any top businesses nearby. Now let's sum up everything. As expected, Google Assistant is still taking the lead by a big margin due to the continuous improvements like adding the hum to search feature and the continuous integration with more third-party apps and services. Siri was the second best and in my opinion, the reason for this is the number of restrictions it has and the slow development. But when everything is fine, it does things really well. When it comes to Bixby, I see it improved since my last comparison back in July 2019, but the improvement is way less than what I expected. So that's pretty much it for today. That was my comparison between Google Assistant, Siri, and Bixby in 2021. I hope you like my video, and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.